everybody. Randy Patterson again here with Boomerosity. As you already know, Boomerosity is just a really huge fan of Toto. I have multiple interviews with several of the guys from the band, including Steve Lukather, the guitar player. Everybody calls him Luke. Um, Joseph Williams, the lead singer. And David Pace, the keyboard player, and like the originally founding member, original founding member of Toto. And he was who invited Steve in to uh, the band. And boy, what a band they have been. Why they're not in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, I don't know. But Toto is tops in my book, and the guys in the band... Anytime I've ever talked to them or met them in person, they've been always extremely gracious. And so when Toto announced that they were going on tour in 2023, and I saw that it was going to be near my neck of the woods, of course, I had to reach out and ask if I could talk to one or any of them. And Joseph, of course, always steps up and says, hey, I'll talk to you. And so we got that arranged. And that's what you're about to watch here. We talk about the tour that's coming up, the tour that just happened, and both of them were with Journey. And as you may already know, I interviewed Jonathan Kane from Journey, I think it was three times now. And so both bands are favorites of mine, and they both put on phenomenal shows. I haven't seen them both at least twice, if not more. And so this particular interview is going to be fun because we're going to talk about the like I just said, the tour this year, which, by the way, I'm recording this in December of 2022. It won't post until the end of January, the very beginning of February of 2023, just because they want things timed so that the the PR press will be all consistent and all at the same time. So when I say this year, I mean 2022, next year being 2023. And so it's going, it promises to be a phenomenal tour. If you can see or get tickets to the shows where they're both going to be together, great. Toto is also headlining their own shows in different places. And so you might be able to see them just as uh, Toto and not with Toto and Journey. And either way, though, you're going to enjoy a phenomenal concert, especially if you've never seen either band before. Don't let naysayers talk you out of uh, going because these bands are great. I don't care if there's people that have taken place of others or whatever. These bands, both of them, are phenomenal and worth every penny of your ticket dollar to go in and see them. So please do. You don't know how much longer we're going to be able to enjoy bands like this. There could be another pandemic come along or maybe the bands break up or some such thing. So take advantage of it. Buy the tickets, support your favorite bands, and have a fun time. So without any further ado, here is my, I don't know how many interviews now, with Joseph Williams, lead singer of Toto. So until next time, this is Randy Patterson with Boomerosity. Take care. So how you been? It's been almost a year since we last spoke, and uh, you guys were about ready to hit the road with Journey the first time. And uh, how did that tour wind up? How... What, you know, was it as successful as you had hoped and fun and all that stuff? Well, I mean, for us, it was. I mean, I know that the, 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 there were some some co couple of COVID cases and stuff like that in the journey camp. And uh, we missed a couple of shows. But um, everybody in in the total camp, knock on wood, like, you know, was it was a, it was like a textbook run. Yeah, yeah. I know you guys have been busy and you're ramping up for another tour. How'd your solo album turn out as far as uh, response and sales and all that? And are you pleased with how that turned out? Yeah, you know, fairly good. It was, you know, these these records are are what we kind of call vanity records these days. It's not, you know, you're not going to get, uh, um, uh, uh, you know, numbers like Justin Bieber or something like that. But, uh, you know, the fans of Toto fans and fans of, of my solo records, they, they all got it. And that's, that's really all that matters to me. I'm still really, really happy with what I did. And, um, uh, probably we'll do another one, uh, next time we get a break. Cool. Cool. Well, I look forward to that. You know, this door is always open for you to talk about it when you do come out with it. So we'll I appreciate it. We'll and and Luke just did one. 
Oh, did he? I hadn't heard about it. Has he released it yet? It's not. Re it's not released. It's like in. It's right now in the packaging um, uh, part of the equation. But earlier uh, in the year, um, he brought his stuff over to my place, and we we basically wrote and recorded an album within a couple of weeks. And then because of uh, touring scheduling and stuff like that, it took us a few months to get it finished. But it's beautiful. Oh, I can't wait to hear it. I can't wait to hear both of yours. In fact, it'll. Uh, you guys aren't going to release them at the same time like you did your last ones, huh? No, 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 no. I don't have one ready right, right now for myself. I, I I helped produce his. That was the last project really I worked on. I I, I wouldn't even probably get started on one until our next break. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. So going back to the tour this this year, I mean, when this interview posts, it'll be into January first of February, just as you guys are getting ready to hit the road. And in fact, mm -hmm. you're going to be coming to my neck of the woods for a change. You're going, you guys are doing uh, Knoxville, and that's near where I live. So I'm, I need to get off my butt and get some tickets for that show because uh, I don't want to miss it. It's been too long. So great, <laughs> but uh, great. look forward. To it. Yeah, and uh, if you guys aren't in a bubble, maybe I can come by and bump elbows with you or something. But um, now, this year you toured with Journey, and you did it with the new lineup. What was the response to the new lineup? Because I know they're dynamite, and I know the fans had to love them, but what what were you hearing? What was the, the feedback you were getting from the lineup and the tour and all that? I've heard nothing but great things. But, you know, uh, uh, having said that, I don't I'm not one that goes really looking for reviews and looking, you know, for for comments and stuff, because um, I don't know. I just I, the, the the negative ones don't do me any good. And, and uh, as long as I feel about good about what I'm doing out there and what we're doing, it's and the audiences seem to respond. That's really the the main thing but having said that um i i definitely saw a few reviews and and they were all really positive about the band and and that you know it was a very high energy version of the group and um uh you know so far i'm pleased with the reaction i think i think it's a, i think it's a good group of guys it really is yeah well, I know the people that I know in different parts of the country that caught your shows. I think there was a couple. Of, you guys, I think, did Nashville. I didn't get to make that one. And didn't you guys do Phoenix too? I think you guys did Phoenix or somewhere yes. thereabouts. And yeah. I've yep. got a lot. I grew up in Phoenix. So I got a lot of friends there, and and uh, everybody was raving about the show. So I know, you know, from what I'm hearing, one on one, no no suck up compliments it was all real stuff right so it was uh everybody was blown away by how you guys sounded and come across on stage and that type of thing so you know the response was phenomenal and uh so so on this new tour new tour coming up um about three questions on that uh first of all it's i assume it's going to be the same lineup correct yes all right good deal good deal and the uh, the itinerary shows that it's going to be a couple months from February to the first part of April. Is that going to expand any? Do you anticipate that growing any, or is that pretty much going to be it for Toto for two, uh, 2023? Um, well, they, towards the at the end of the year, we might do something. I'm, uh, there's nothing that I know of that's on the books, but the first part of the year is that that first two months. Uh, in the states, and then we're going back to Japan after not being there for six years, five years, or something. So we're gonna we're gonna go uh, play Japan and uh, perhaps a couple of other markets in in Southeast Asia. I'm not quite sure, but um, uh, that that will pretty much be it. It's a little more of a lean year next year for us, but but the, we haven't talked about the fall yet. There may be a there may be a, a run of our own or something without uh, without a uh, uh, journey, but uh, don't don't uh, don't clock me on that. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> hey, it's a fluid business, right? So. What uh, did how did you feel about the synergies between the two bands on the tour? Was that uh, did you guys did it did you guys kind of feed off each other or were you kind of pretty much siloed on that? I know Luke and Jonathan they you know they're they're kind of related now so uh, <laughs> I don't yeah. did you did you go to the wedding? 
I I missed the wedding. I could uh, not make make the bed make the wedding, but I heard it was you know just like an old time ex- Hollywood extravaganza. Yeah, I saw some pictures of it. It looked pretty cool. But but back to my question: Did you guys kind of feed off each other, or were you pretty siloed during that tour? Well, it was you know COVID was still you know a big thing, so everybody was masked backstage, and yet we had to do tests every day and that kind of stuff. So we. We tried to stay in a bubble, you know, and, 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 you know, their band did too. So, I mean, we interacted with them most days, you know, backstage, they would be re- getting ready to go on as we were coming off and we would, be, you know, talk and hang a little bit backstage. But um, other than a few opportunities, at least for myself, I can't speak for some of the other guys, but we did, there wasn't much opportunity to, to, you know, sit and hang and watch their show and, vice versa that you know sharing notes so we yeah it was a little bit of a little bit of both i would say i see well i know i know fans a lot of times will think that everybody's just kind of hanging around and you know sharing and all that but typically i mean if you guys are opening once you're done and you guys are loading and getting ready to head out and, and and that type of thing is it is that pretty much the case yeah, I mean, for us, it is um, uh, journey. They they can afford to travel by plane and can hub out of one city and do yeah. four shows in a particular area, where uh, we could do the same thing. We would all end up coming home with no money, but but uh, we so so we we do the bus and we get mm-hmm. a nice bus, and and um, in an opening situation the the move is to do the show and to get right on the bus and get to the next town because if it's a six seven hour drive then you at least you've got you know part of the day to get some rest or or do some errands or whatever you need to do for the next gig and so on so that's that's so we're there's not much hanging these days also we figured that because of covid there's like you know it's a lot less uh um opportunities for us to have guests and friends backstage the way we used to um and so we we figured we might as well just go because nor- normally we would hang around and wait and you know oh, yeah. see some people and you know spend a couple hours or something before getting on the bus now we just go which is yeah. which is uh a little bit more um convenient at least yeah yeah well, that makes sense and especially for health sake and such so but um, so what can fans expect from your shows on this tour coming up? What, what, well, we're going to we're, we're going to get together in January before we start, I think, and, and uh, you know, look at our set. So there'll probably be a few changes in what we're playing. Mm-hmm. And um, and you can look forward to the same incredible lineup of guys. And, and um, you know, these are all guys that when Toto's not working, they are all constantly working you know, doing their own thing and stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, Warren is, does Ringo with Luke and uh, Steve Pajora has got his own band that he tours around with and the, the Ghost Note guys, you know, uh, Sput on drums and and Dominic Xavier, they're traveling through Europe, I think even right now. So um, so the, the when we come together, everybody sounds like we've been playing for, you know, nine months. So yeah. that's that's some to look forward to it's it'll, it's a fun tight show yeah well, i know before uh well, late i guess it had been two years ago you guys did the streaming show the the kind of a pay-per-view type of thing which mm-hmm. you know everybody was doing some version of that because of the the shutdown and everything but i loved it i thought it was great are you guys going to be doing anything like that sometime in the foreseeable future or is it is that just for you reserve that for pandemics? <laughs> no, no. I mean, the, the original uh, intent, of course, was to do something for, during the pandemic and also a way of sort of, of introducing the you know guys who are going to be in the touring band. Right. Um, would we do another one like that? I wouldn't say no. There's nothing really on, on the books uh, to do something, another one like that. But, you know, I never say never, especially right. with this, especially with this group, you know. <laughs> well, that's and it's a testament to, to your professionalism, your skills, your talents, and all that. How quick you guys can assemble and execute on something, you know. And you know, I would assume that even with new music, it's not like you're, you know, even though it sounds like Beethoven's Fifth, the way you guys all get together, you you're so gelled together you guys can move pretty quick it seems like is am i wrong about that 
No, that's 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 right. I mean, the 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 the, the idea of the band from the very beginning, you know, uh, uh, is 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 a group of of the be- very best working studio musicians and you know when it comes time to, to, to rehearse a song for a for a, a live thing that's that's easy next to the work next to that you know going into studios every day and doing you know three different sessions and reading charts and and doing all the stuff that those you know pro- professional musicians do so when it comes time to do uh you know rehearsal and touring it's it's fun because it's you know everybody can can loosen up once it, once they learn their parts uh, it's everybody is stretching. Everybody, the musicians are so great that they can stretch instead of having to just, you know, stick to a, a, a script. Right, right. Well, um, what else is on Toto's radar for the next year or so besides this tour? And we talked about possibilities later on in the year. Any new albums being discussed? Well, Luke, Anything like that? Luke's got one coming up. Uh, I'll probably start one, as I said, on the on the on the next break. Uh, David Page has been has been uh, working uh, with a few different people, including I think Shania Twain. He's got he's he's got a bunch of stuff that in the works. So there's there's things in the works. I know we've got a a good uh, uh, chunk of two, of 2024 where we're going to be on the road. I think we at least have a couple of U.S. runs and another European run. Um, for 2024 um just trying to keep busy you know i i I, you're you're looking you're not seeing the equipment but you're looking you know at you're looking at me where i would be making a record (laughs) so um, you know so the stuff is always here Uh, um there's another little half studio over there um and so we're we're always noodling um in terms of in terms of what's announceable not much, except that we'll, we'll be in a city near you pretty soon. Cool. Very cool. Well, what about your side projects? I mean, you, you don't just work on Total and just on your stuff. I know you you get your fingers and, you know, some other cool stuff. What, you, anything you can talk about on that? I haven't been involved in doing, you know, I, I worked with um, Peter Friedstadt and Bill Champlin, and we did a couple of tours and a couple of records. I haven't, I haven't been doing so much of that. Instead, on my off time, I've been spending it with my brand new grandchildren. All right. Very cool. So, yeah. So my I have a two-year-old and my daughter just gave birth to another little girl. So, Oh, no. Oh, no. She's already got you wrapped around their little finger, I imagine. Huh? Of course. They both do. You know what I mean? They both do. So I've been I've been spending a, t- a lot of time doing that. And as, as I said, I I, I kind of helped co-produce Luke with this record with him, right. and that was sort of my pro- my uh, side project for earlier in the year. Mm-hmm. Um, and we'll see what happens after uh, after our, the, the the journey tour and our our J- Japanese tour. We'll see what yep. see what I'll probably get home, be bored, and start recording something. <laughs> well, when you do, like I said earlier, and you knew this from before, my door is always open to you. I always love talking with you. And like I said, I'm going to, I guess when I hang up here, I need to try to see if there's any tickets for the Knoxville show available. I know they were, I was here and they were, you guys are selling pretty quick all over the itinerary there. That's, um, that's nice, especially, you know, for these bigger venues now. That's wonderful. So, yeah. Yeah, but, no. Uh, that last last year working with Journey was very good for us. It 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 got some you know people to see us that would never go out and see a Toto show, and uh, and you know if if half of those people you know enjoyed it enough to want to come back, that's a huge plus for us. Well, I'm sure they will. I'm sure they will. So, uh, well, listen, I well I I appreciate you taking the time to get with me on this. Uh, keep spoiling those grandbabies and. Uh, if you guys are not in a bubble when you come here to Knoxville, like I said, love to briefly say hey and bump elbows with you real quick and uh, look forward to seeing the show. Great. Right. Thanks so much for your time today, too. Right. Well, thank you, Joseph, and take care. Stay right. safe out there. Thanks. You too. Right. Bye-bye. Bye.